as we announce an indictment against a handful of alleged bad actors who, if the allegations are proved, do not deserve to wear the badge and should not be allowed to bring disrepute on the men and women in blue who serve South Carolina with integrity. The allegations in the indictment accuse officers of helping others to obtain the fraudulent U visas by taking bribes for fraudulent certifications and creating fraudulent incident reports indicating that the aliens named were victims of crime. Other allegations in the indictment focus on bribes paid to officers for their agreement to protect methamphetamine or crack or cocaine or the proceeds of drug trafficking. The indictment alleges that these officers actually participated in the protection of tractor trailers they believed to contain proceeds from drug trafficking. The law enforcement officers that you see standing here today want the citizens of South Carolina to know that we will not tolerate the hypocrisy of those who pretend to enforce the law while violating it themselves all to line their pockets. We call that public corruption and we will always call that out. To those who are violating the public's trust or may cut to contemplate such, know this, we will find you, we will arrest you, and you will go to prison. It's just not worth it. The actions described in these indictments demonstrate a clear betrayal of the people of Orangeburg County. This state and legitimate law enforcement officers who risk their lives every day. The FBI continues, even as we speak, to vigorously investigate corruption within public offices that should be honestly serving the people of this state. Today's arrests are a low point for the law enforcement community. We have all sworn to uphold the laws of our country and to keep our community safe. The indictment alleges that these individuals use their positions to accept bribes to not only further visa fraud, but also narcotics trafficking.